Maya Rudolph has announced that she will return as the vice president on SNL. Is there anything she should be sure to include in her impression? Yeah, they need a, a, a good Doug character. So I'm thinking Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, Chris Hemsworth. You know, people who look exactly like me. Hey everyone, Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff here. And Esquire has asked me to explain a few things. So shall we get into it? How has your life changed since your wife announced her candidacy? It's changed a lot. It's been a whirlwind. We barely get to see each other. So I'm also just looking up and seeing wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Uh, wait, wait, that's my wife. Wait, that's me. And it's so it's a, it's pretty surreal. But I've been to six or seven states already. You can feel the excitement. You can feel the joy. And the hardest part, it's it's just not seeing her. Not that we got to see each other that much before, but it's 90 something days. We can do anything for that. So we're both committed uh, to doing this and bringing it over the finish line. <laughs> what was I showing the vice president? You can see the annoyance on her face. So this was during her primary run five years ago. And uh, she's doing serious business campaigning and I'm just goofing around saying, hey, let's take a selfie. So she was pretty annoyed. What advice would you give yourself if you could talk to this version of you today? Wow, this is me in law school. I just wanted to move so fast and I pushed myself so hard in my career. I became an entertainment lawyer, which was my dream. And I would just tell that young man, you're gonna get to where you're going. Just slow down a little bit and you'll still get there. Caption this photo. I still see that guy. So for me, it's like looking in the mirror. So I guess they put out some merch and both our kids sent it to me like, seriously? Normally they're used to seeing Kamala, Mamala out there all, all over the place. And so now to see me out there a lot, I think it's, you know, they want me to be their dad. You may be spending the holidays in the White House. Do you have any plans formulating? Being second gentleman, you get to go there a lot and you get to see all the Christmas decorations. So I love all that stuff. I'm a traditionalist, so. I think the plans are to kind of keep it the same, maybe throw a few more dreidels in there uh, <laughs> during the holidays, but you know, it, it, it works. And I think most people like want to see that. So uh, keep it going. What happened when the vice president met my mother, her mother-in-law, Barb? We were all born in Brooklyn, raised in Jersey, but moved to LA in 1980. But that accent never left my mother. So she did something like, look at you. You're prettier than you are on TV. Mike, Mike, look. That's my dad. But the other funny part, we were at a restaurant and a bunch of her friends just happened to be in the restaurant. So not only did Kamala get to meet my mother for the first time, she got to meet all of her friends at the same time. Who is better at basketball? Me or the vice president? And who is the most passionate fan? She's a legit basketball fan and a huge Warriors fan. And I'm a big, I mean, serious Laker fan. So we you know, love each other, agree on most things, but when it comes to the LA San Francisco sports rivalries, it's on. But I'm probably have a little more hoop skills. <laughs> the family loves basketball. We all do. Ella played in uh, when she was in school and um, I uh, would always yell at her, soft hands, soft hands, and her knitting club is called Soft Hands Knitting Club. You've recently made a career pivot to being a TikTok star. What is the secret to blowing up on the platform? I think it's a secret to everything. You just gotta be yourself. You have to be authentic. You gotta be who you are. And there's a lot of energy on this team and we really do an open source. Everyone's ideas are good. We talk about them and I'm open-minded to it. So. So far, so good. Any Gen Z slang you and the vice president have picked up from your kids? Cole's 29, Ella's 25. So mostly, you know, they just make fun of me. That's about it. <laughs> vice president's cookbook collection has sparked a lot of interest. What is my favorite recipe of hers? And what do I like to cook? myself. She can make an incredible roast chicken. She dresses it and seasons it, puts it in the fridge the night before. The next day, she's ready to, to roast it and takes a lot of care in basting it and, and just getting it to that right crispiness on the outside and tender on the inside. So I think that's 
probably everyone's favorite, but there's a lot of a lot to choose from. I'm um, a breakfast guy. My grandfather taught me how to make scrambled eggs when I was a kid, and I've just gone with that forever, and it comes out great every time. This image is of the installation of the first mezuzah in an executive residence. Are you generally handing around the house? While I was putting the mezuzah on, my father was standing behind me, and it was the first and only time I really saw him cry. And so the answer is yes, I'm very handy around the house because of my father, who was a designer and is super creative and instilled in me and, and my brother and a sister too, like you, you gotta take care of things yourself. And so yes, I'm handy because of my father who watched me put that mezuzah on the door. How did you know that Kamla was the one? It was a love at first sight situation. We met on a blind date and uh, we talked on the phone before the date and we already kind of felt that chemistry. And then when I picked her up on the first blind date, by the end of that night, we were already talking about our future together. What are the three keys to supporting the vice president who happens to be my wife? So first, it's be a good husband. I'm there to support her and uh, make sure that I've got her back and being there for her. It's also being good at being second gentleman. So it's um, advocating for positions in the administration, going around the country, going around the world, doing what I can to, to support her mission as vice president. And now on the campaign trail, as she's uh, campaigning to be the next president of the United States, it's going out around the country, making sure people get out to vote because this is a beautiful democracy and hopefully vote for her. So this was great. It's a longtime reader of Esquire and um, just uh, be yourself, be authentic, and um, you know, we've got a great, beautiful country here, and let's just celebrate it.